sometimes I got to put out a disclaimer before I can even get into the information for a video. I just wanted to say this before I even get into <laughs> what this person said to me. Uh, let me just say this. Promise be made. If you're listening to this video and you don't like something that's said in this video, either let me know in the comment section or hit me up. Meet Magazine on Twitter. We'll work something out. Whether you don't want me to be saying this about you or you're cool with it. E either way, like if you see this video, let me know what you thought. And I'm not going to say that this information is true. I'm just going to say that I made a video talking about Tommy and talking about Promise Be May in the past. Someone came to my comment section. <sighs> and, and her name was Pyrrhus. Now, I'm not going to dare say what the other part of her screen name was because I'm not going to put her on blast like that. Despite the fact that Pyrrhus put Promise on blast, allegedly. Now, I'm not saying that the information is true. I'm just saying that it's so crazy I had to make a video about it. Once again, Promise, if you don't want me saying this crap about you, just let me know. We'll work something out. Basically, I'm going to read to you some of what Pyrrhus said in the comment section of my YouTube channel. But before I get into that, let me just say this. Now, the episode is supposed to air tonight, which is May 30th, Monday, May 30th of 2016, where Promise Be May confronts Stevie J about some child that they may or may not have together. Now, they, there were articles on the Internet, I think going back to 2013, where allegedly she was pregnant with Stevie J's baby and had an abortion. Allegedly. I had to make sure I preface what I'm about to read to you. So Pyrrhus said, and I quote, Promise B. May is Sierra Washington of Sacramento. We have been friends since 1999. She had lied numerous times saying she's pregnant. We were always close until she lied again five to six years ago about another baby. She has no kids. She was, however, messing with Stevie J. She's hiding under her stage name, but she's a liar. Always has been. Middle school to VH1. I wish her the best. I just wish she didn't lie because this will definitely come out. There is no two-year-old daughter. Now, of course, I said my classic damn, and I told her, you know, thanks for the tea, you know, but I told her, you know, you can just go ahead and spill all, the, you can go ahead and spill all the tea. You can make like a clumsy Mexican and spill the beans. So I asked her, you know, like what's popping? Like what else is going on? And Pierre said, she's full of it. I have no idea why she lies this way. We were a group of like six girls. She was one of them from Will C. Wood Middle to Hiram Johnson High School in Sacramento. She Puerto Rican and black. She recently was married to, to some bum ass ninja. She just quit her job or got fired at the hotel she was working at in Sacramento. You know, so I went on to ask her questions like, so what kind of work did she do at the hotel? You know, does she have a criminal record or, you know, are there any mug shots of her out there? How old is she? You know, is she really getting pregnant and aborting the babies? You know, like these, these articles on the internet are saying or whatever. So Paris replied to me and said, it's sad because she's going to be exposed. She recently deleted her Facebook with her real name, Sierra Washington, and only uses Promise Be May public figure page. I advised our old crew from school of her new venture on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta about a month ago and the first thing they said was she's lying which is true she's never birthed a child Pierce goes on to say she was a supervisor at the front desk the house she's seen opening the door at on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta when Stevie knocks on the door is definitely not hers she left Sacramento earlier this year filmed Love and Hip Hop Atlanta in February and has since been moving around from North Carolina to Lewis which is her supposed birth home, ATL, and surrounding areas. There's no abortions, trust me. She's been screaming pregnant since ninth grade by a guy named Brian M, I'll just say, I won't say his last name, and has been pregnant numerous times since then, supposedly. And she let me know that Promise or Sierra, or whatever her name is, is on Facebook, but not on Twitter, because I, I found some Twitter page, which I was going to hit, you know, promise be up at. I was going to ask her some questions, but apparently she's, I guess, not on Twitter, but on Facebook. But 
this conversation took place on my YouTube channel in April 2016. So she may have a Twitter page by now. I'm going to have to recheck. <laughs> Anyways, she goes on to say that she's either 29 or 30. So basically, I let her know. I'm like, man, like you, you, you busting out with the fire hose of Lipton tea right now. You just, you just killing the game. So I was like, look. So according to, you know, what Pierce is saying, I'm like, are you, you know, are you saying that she's basically psycho? <laughs> you know, like what other stuff is she into? Is she like a scammer or anything like that? You know, has she been arrested for hitting chicks with bottles? You know, because the love of hip hop chicks are ruthless. So I was just asking, you know, because Mona Scott Young likes you know for people with a sketchy past i'm not saying that pierce maybe didn't have a sketchy past and then came out of that but i was just asking you know like what type of person is she can you tell me you know some more about her background pierce goes on to say psycho yes scammer i'm not too sure and i've never heard of an arrest she's always kind of just moved around state to state tried to rap for a minute she even had a clothing line a-list chicks which got six likes on Facebook and two pre-orders. When I tried to ask her about the baby before Stevie's, and she put Stevie's name in quotes, when I tried to ask her about the baby before Stevie's, because I hadn't seen pics, she got really angry, which I never understood quite frankly. You know, I went out to ask her about, you know, whether or not she has any other aliases, and I asked Paris about Promises Music and whatnot. Pierce replied by saying she has music on YouTube as promised be May. She has talent singing though. I will say that. We were all musically talented in school. That was one of the things that drew us together. She did an appearance once on Good Day Sacramento as promised be May. You know, I asked her, you know, whether or not there was an online store, you know, or whatever for her her clothing. She said that there was never an online store for her clothing, but it was on Instagram, yes. And I said, you know, according to this 2013 article, she allegedly aborted her baby with Stevie J. To which Pierce replied by saying, she's an attention seeker. She really pregnant. I guess she meant to say she really got pregnant. She'd have kept it. Trust me. Wow. So there you go. She, I mean, Pierce is just really, really saying that, you know, that whatever this girl is saying is just not true. And just don't believe it. Don't believe anything she says. I mean, we haven't really seen her on the show yet. She's supposed to be on the show tonight. That's why I waited until today. <laughs> I held on to this tea for a month, you know, and there's still some more. So I asked Pierce, you know, a little bit of information about her background and whatnot, you know, because I wanted to figure out who she was and whatnot. So I just started asking her different questions and whatnot. Here's some of what she said. She said, Brian dodged her. She was his secret. My cousin and his sister Brianna were and still are best friends. We were the only ones who quote knew. But again, she is pretty and talented. I will give her that. So I went on to ask Pierce, you know, for permission to put this information in a video and as well as post it on my blog. And she said, yeah, you know, it's cool. Go ahead and do your thing. So Pierce said, I catch up on your blogs on my off days and when I saw this video I died so I guess apparently she <laughs> I guess it was kind of trippy to, you know to see me talking about somebody who she went to school with so I told her you know I'm glad that that she saw the video and I'm glad you know that she commented you know because now I have this information and she said that I don't have to hide her name because I asked her I said you know should I mark out your name because I was gonna show you guys the actual conversation she said I wouldn't even have to cross out her name. So well, I'll just say her name once in the video. Pyrrhus Snow. So I asked <laughs> Pyrrhus if she would pop up at the reunion or whatever, you know, to talk some shit on VH1 about your girl Promise. You know, she's she said that she's not looking for reality stardom. You know, she's a mom with two girls, you know, who will look up to her. However, if she was invited to the reunion to bust out Promise. She said, I don't know. Quote. I'd have to bring Brian's sister also. Wow. So I, I don't know. It sounds like your boy Brian may, you know, still be angry with her about the past. Allegedly. Remember, all this information is alleged. So yeah, uh, alleged, you know, th this could just be a prank. <clears throat> but anyways, so I said to Pyrrhus, I said, thanks. I don't think I asked you this. You used to be friends with her. How did the two of you fall out? 
And was it real nasty? Or did you just decide to not be friends and just stop dealing with each other? Pyrrhus replied by saying, we still talk. It wasn't serious. We are friends still on Facebook. Wow. Damn, with friends like Pyrrhus. <laughs> Forget Gatorade. It's like she took one of those Gatorade containers full of tea and dumped it on her like she won the damn game. Jesus just got her damn weave, her wig, whatever, just soaking with tea. But yeah, you're going to sit up there and be like, oh, but we still friends, though. That's still a girl. Really? Sheesh. Paris is a ruthless one, isn't she? I bet you Paris is a pretty girl. Because these pretty girls out here are ruthless. But anyways, Jesus, I, I don't even know what to think about all this tea. I'm, my stomach is so full of tea right now. I'm about to go to the bathroom, stand over the toilet, and take a tiss. I'm about to take a tea, not a pee, take a tea. You know I got to say it right. What do I think about all this tea? I think, oh, damn. She put all of her alleged business out on the screen. Now, like I said, alleged, because we don't know for sure whether this information is true or not. This could be a prank that somebody's playing on me, Jesus. Either way, this is just going to make Promise to be made more popular and make people want to hear her music and make people want to buy her slimming tea or whatever the hell it is that she's selling. She's selling some sort of weight loss shit on her Instagram. So I'm going to have to go give me some support too. Now I'm going to have to remain neutral about this one because I cannot confirm nor deny any of this information. But like I said, Promise, if you have any issue whatsoever about this information you let me know immediately and we'll work something out it's no problem because i didn't have to make this video i really didn't you know but i thought it was interesting i thought it was really interesting t thank you pyrrhus for this information i have no idea whether or not this information is true ladies and gentlemen once again promise don't kill me and i highly suggest that everybody go follow your girl promise on instagram because she has some sort of like weight loss product popping right now it's like one of those drinks i'm pretty sure it's a tea so you guys might want to try that out now i can't have any more tea personally because i already got to take a tea but that's just me but anyways let me know what you think about it all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com follow me on twitter at meat magazine